do these five things before you purchase a house. I'm Jonathan Martis with North Pacific Real Estate. I'm a local real estate broker in the greater Seattle area. Before you close on that house, here's five recommendations that I think buyers should be aware of. Number one, get pre-approved through a lender before you start house hunting. The reason for this is because some buyers will look for houses, they get excited and they wanna put an offer on a home, but they're not pre-approved yet. So they're not even sure how much they can afford or if they're even able to buy a home. Now, during the pre-approval process, you will work with the lender. They will look at your finances and let you know about how much you can afford on a house and what the down payment amount would need to be. And uh, from there, you can provide that pre-approval letter to your real estate agent, and they can have that uh, to include with the offer when you both find a house you'd like to move forward with purchasing. Number two, determine what area you wanna live in within a city. Many times, buyers will look in uh, a specific city or cities where they wanna buy a house. But be more specific in your search. If you have a church that you attend nearby or a school or your work is, uh, you know, you're commuting to work regularly or there are certain activities that you um, wanna be near, try to find a place that's gonna be close enough to all of those or at least some of those so that you're not having to commute as much and it's something that in time, it won't be a frustration point for you. If a buyer finds a house that looks nice and it's newer or has the style that they prefer, but it's not near any of the things or uh, work or activities they attend throughout the week, then it may not be worth it for them to move there. So be specific in the neighborhood and area you wanna find a home in and your agent can help you with this so that you're close to most of those activities and uh, things that you do throughout the week. Number three, determine if you want a condo, townhome, or a house. Sometimes buyers are open to either of these, but as you think more and more about how you see yourself living in the house or property you buy, you wanna determine if a condo will be okay for you, if a townhome will be fine, or a house. Now a condo is the best way to think about it. It's like an apartment but one that you own, right? You're gonna have, uh, share it in the same building with other people. You'll have your own unit in a building with others. And a townhome is when the walls are shared, but you have the upper area and lower area all for yourself. So there's no one above you or below you. So that's what a townhome would be, but you will have shared walls. Backyards are very rare with townhomes and there's just not as much space that you would have for yourself um, outside of the unit. You may have a balcony and some space in front of the garage, um, but overall you're not gonna have much of a yard in most cases. A house, what I mean by house is you have a backyard, front yard, and you have your own plot of land. And uh, most people would prefer that, but there's others who actually prefer a townhome or a condo. The pricing will be different for each. In condos and townhomes, almost always you'll have an HOA. So do think of that uh, when you're factoring that into your equation and also, with a house, there are times when it may have an HOA, but uh, they're usually much lower uh, in price and cost than a townhome or a condo. Number four, how much you wanna put down for your down payment. So that way, when it comes time to close on the home, you have that cash available for the cash needed to close. You have a down payment that goes towards uh, your cash at closing, but also there's gonna be loan costs and some different fees associated that you'll have to have the money uh, available for. So do remember to have that money set aside so that you have it uh, when it comes time to close on the property. Number five, don't make any big purchases between the time you are purchasing the place and closing. So the time frame for escrow can take 30 to 45 days. You go into contract on a home, the offer gets accepted, at that point, you go into escrow and you have not purchased the unit yet, you're just in contract to purchase it. So it will take 30 to 45 days before you can close on that property. And during that time, you don't wanna make any huge car purchases, anything with your credit card for you know a ton of appliances or whatever it may be, because that may affect your ability to qualify for the loan. During this time in escrow, the lender will uh, do a deep dive into the finances and into your finances and to make sure everything looks good so that you can close on the home. So uh, make sure no big purchases during that time frame. 
I actually had a client who made a big purchase and it almost caused the deal to fall through. So from past experience working with clients, you know, this is something that does occur and I hope I can help you prevent uh, some of these things from happening. All right, those are my five things that I'd recommend to buyers when they are looking to purchase a home. I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.